Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Dad Life channel. Today we're going to be making corner bookmarks and the template that we're going to be using is from tallystreasury.com. That's www.tallystreasury.com. Now what you'll see here is that I've got a monster corner bookmark um, from her template. That's what I would recommend you go download. What I'm going to do today is actually show you how I've gotten a little bit creative with this template. As you can see, I did make a monster corner bookmark, um, which my kids love, uh, but I've also gotten a little bit creative in how I've changed the template to kind of suit what I wanted to do uh, in terms of my own creativity. So I would highly recommend you go to www.tallystreasury.com and uh, there she has patterns, paper patterns and templates all over. So again, it's tallystreasury.com slash patterns, P-A-T-T-E-R-N-S. And then you'll want to click on number three. It says page corner bookmark monsters. You just go on your computer, print this off, and it'll give you the template of what you need to create this monster bookmark. And so what I've done, if you want to take a look, is I've come up with different ways to create all sorts of different bookmarks. Um, first, what you'll need is you'll need a pencil, glue stick, scissors and cardstock ideally. I like cardstock because it's a little bit thicker. Um, it's it's a little bit more stiff. Uh, regular paper tends to be a, a little bit more flimsy. So uh, that's why I use cardstock. It's it's um, it's nice and it doesn't seem to break down too easily. So so these are the pieces that I've made from the template. Um, I printed it off first with just regular printer paper and then what I did is I basically just took um, uh, an old cereal box once we were done with it and I traced it over the top and cut these out and this is a little bit more permanent especially if I'm going to do this uh, more than once I'm going to want something that's a little bit more rigid than paper paper tends to get wrinkly and folded and things like that so I just took an old cereal box or I think it was like a um, squeezy applesauce box and I kind of cut it up using that template and now I have something that's nice and reusable. So today we're actually going to take the eyeball and the teeth portion and we're going to put them away and we're just going to use the body and the body insert. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my card stock. This is going to be one that I'm going to make for my wife. So I've got a pink polka dot pattern. I got this book of card stock I want to say at Walmart for like five bucks and you get 36 sheets. I mean this I've had this for probably about six months and I've just using it, used it uh, here and there to make all sorts of different things. So uh, definitely, definitely recommend uh, picking one of these up because it's very convenient and fits this project very well. So first thing I'm going to do is turn this over and then I'm going to match up the template and I'm going to trace. Okay, so I've traced my cardstock using the template, and now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So this is what you should end up with, the body and the body insert. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do is turn this over and glue this side on the inside here and then fold each piece over. Okay, so as you can see it doesn't match up perfectly so what I like to do is fold first, then glue, and then trim the edges. So here's how we do that. We just fold one side over here just like so, so it's completely flat. and then the other side goes directly over the top. Now you'll see that again it doesn't line up perfectly so what I like to do is just kind of trim or a lot of times if I switch it see it lines up very nicely so I just kind of see which one works best and then I go with that one. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick and put some glue on the body insert Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on the body. That way I can kind of be free to move that around a little bit. So maybe a little bit on here never hurt. Okay. And then what I want to do is just find the edge right there and we'll line it up. 
And there it goes. That would wipe away any excess for sure. Try and line it up, squash it down. And then we go back to our initial plan, what which was here. Uh, that looks a little bit better. Let's do that. So then the second piece I want to glue is actually this this piece on top of here. Don't glue this piece because that will actually glue it to the pink and you won't have any room for your page. So and we'll put this over the top. And then we pinch and just kind of smash it down. Now, if you want to get creative, you can take these little flaps here and use like a, a pinking shears um, to kind of give it like a frilly look if it's for, uh, you know, your wife or whatever. And uh, that kind of makes it a little extra creative. So there's that. Now, you notice on the back that we've got some excess, so we're just going to trim that away. So there we go. There's your bookmark. And so, when you get ready to put it in the book, here's what it looks like. So this is my book, it just goes right in there. And there you go, there's your bookmark. Really cool, fits nicely, low profile, works really well. Now another thing that I've done recently is I've discovered how to add characters and make it look really cool. So what I've done is I just, go on the internet, I search for a character that maybe my daughter wants on here. This was a, a baby Ariel one that she wanted. I put one on the front, maybe I put one on the back, and she's got a baby uh, Sleeping Beauty, I think that's yeah, Princess Aurora. And, uh, and then I just fit them up to size using um, a word processing, either Microsoft Word or uh, Paint, whatever I have to kind of size it. It takes a little bit of trial and error to find the right size with the printer, which is fine. Um, but once you do it a couple times, you'll kind of get the idea. Yeah, so as you can see, it's about just over three inches, about three and three and an eighth inches, one side to the other. And that kind of gives you an idea of how big your image should be when you print it. So, um, so I've got this one, I've got the flounder one, and I've made an Omnom one on the front or on the back. And that's what we're going to do next. Um, I also made an Iron Man one. I lost that one. Don't know what happened to it. But you can get creative and use whatever you want. So, so what I what I first do is I take my character and I and I center the top of it right on there. Okay. So I'm going to glue a little bit and I'm going to put her right on center. And then. I'm going to fold that underneath. So I don't need everything to fold that underneath. So I'm just going to cut off a good portion of that and make sure I have glue on there. So I just kind of peel it back, fold it underneath, and then that's half of her. So now what I do with the second half is I cut off the, the top portion and I just line it up underneath. So add a little bit of glue. And then I just look for the major landmarks here. And it should roughly line up pretty well. So there we go. Just like that. And there, when you look at it, it looks like one picture. So here, you if you have excess, you can either fold it like this or you can snip it. I'll just fold it for now. And it should stay. So there you go. You've got an aerial bookmark. Feel free to put something on the back as well if you like. Um, the other way that I did this one was that I didn't have just straight green cardstock. So what I had to do was I actually used cardstock, but then I, I glued green um, construction paper or the top of it or I may have even just um, printed off some some green off of the computer I think this one's construction paper but then I just put it over the top and then I use the same technique cut it off in half fold it under 
glued this underneath and it looks pretty much even okay so when when it's out of the book you actually see one character and then it's got the um nom candy on the back so have fun with this one it's something that you can use for loved ones um daughters sons use use any uh technique that you want to 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 get your desired effect so it's a it's a fun project my wife and my kids have absolutely loved when i've made bookmarks for them so enjoy thanks for watching